So you've been asked to read scripture. What do you do? Start by reading the passage to yourself a couple times. You may want to look at alternate translations. Because we are a contemporary church, avoid something that sounds too Bible-y. He said, therefore, what is the kingdom of God like? And to what should I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in the garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nest in its branches. Now that you've read it, be sure you understand it. You might want to check a commentary or two. If you have problems understanding, don't be afraid to ask someone else. Now it's time to practice reading the passage. You want to do this quite a few times, because no one likes the boring reader. Jesus knew the Pharisees had heard that he was baptizing and making more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself didn't baptize them, his disciples did. So he left Judea and returned to Galilee. Remember, the Bible is the story of God and his relationship with us. Tell that story. Use inflection in your voice in the correct way to make your main points clear. On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then. What looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them ability. Now it's time to practice and practice and practice some more. If you have time and the passage is not too long, you can even memorize it. Most importantly, with all this hard work done, you can now be confident and you can tell the story and others will listen. Remember, reading the word is one of the most important parts of the service. So have fun and maybe you'll even learn something.